Welcome to the first part of a five-part GIS tutorial from George Mason University Libraries. In part one, we'll locate data sets online, set search parameters, and download and unzip our data files. Throughout this tutorial, we'll be downloading, analyzing, and mapping data on the population in Fairfax County over age 65 that's below the poverty level. First, we'll need to find an adequate data set. Fortunately, the U.S. Census Bureau provides significant publicly available data through their American Fact Finder website. This is the data that we'll use. So open your web browser and browse to factfinder.census.gov and this will take you to the American Fact Finder homepage. It's the portal that the Census Bureau uses to make all of their data publicly available. On the left-hand column, find data sets. Select Decennial Census and scroll down to the third choice, Census 2000 Summary File 3 Sample Data and select Detailed Tables on the right. Now we're going to use data based on Census Tract. Census Tracts are simply subdivisions of counties that the Census Bureau uses to tabulate individuals. So in the drop down menu, find Census Tract. Under State, select Virginia. And under County, select Fairfax County. The website will provide a list of every census tract in the county. Select All Census Tracts. Click Add. And click Next. Here you see a list of every data series for which the Census Bureau collects data. The one we'll want to use in this exercise is P87. Poverty status in 1999 by age. Select it. Click Add. And click Show Result. Here you'll see our data displayed. There should be 165 geographies in total. Along the header row, you'll see individual census tracts listed. And along the left-hand column, you'll see various divisions of the data, including age ranges for both those above and below the poverty level. Now we'll want to download this data in a format that we can convert and use in ArcGIS. To do so, find the Print Download drop-down menu and select Download. A pop-up window will appear uh, that displays the various formats in which you can download data. Now we'll want to use data that is database compatible. So scroll down to the database compatible data rows only section and within that section select Microsoft Excel. Now beneath that you will see a checkbox that says include descriptive data element names. If this box is not checked the data will only be displayed using serial codes as column headings. It can be difficult to keep the data straight so make sure that this box is checked. Finally click OK. Now you'll see the website will produce a, a file called output.zip. A zip file is simply a file format that allows the user to combine multiple different files into a single file. It makes it a little bit easier to download. We'll want to save this file someplace where we can get to it later. So minimize your browser. And on your desktop, create a new folder and call it Census Project. Now save your zip file in that folder. And once it is saved, go ahead and close your browser. Now open up your census project folder and find the new zip file that is contained there. The method you use to open up this zip file will depend on the operating system that you're using. Windows Vista users can simply double click and open the file as though it were a regular file folder. However, because I'm using Windows XP, I need third-party software. WinZip is the most common software for this purpose. It's free and readily available uh, for download in trial versions online. So make sure that you've got a copy of WinZip installed on your PC. And once you've done so, double-click this file. Click I agree. And in the WinZip window, the files that are contained within this zip file will appear. One of these files contains our data. 
Now we'll need to extract these files and save them for use later. To do so, simply click the Extract icon. Make sure that you are extracting to your Census Project folder. Click Extract. And you'll see the files appear in your folder if it's open. Close WinZip. And now our files are there saved on our desktop. The file that we need that contains our data uh, ends with the file name data1.xls. Double click this file to make sure the data downloaded properly. Here you see our data displayed. The header rows contain descriptive data labels. And the left hand columns contain identifiers for each census tract. Now that we've confirmed our data has downloaded properly, go ahead and close Excel and proceed to part two where we'll do some basic data analyses using Excel.